back, you notice where you were more tight. So um, with this body awareness, this meditation, this body scan, we can, we can be more in tune with our bodies. We'll start on our backs and go ahead and lay down on your back or find something that feels comfortable so you can sit in a reclined chair or on your back. And I'm gonna give you guys one minute to just be. Okay, I started the timer. One minute to just be, I'm not gonna talk at all. Just get comfortable. Mm -hmm. and you guys getting situated, making sure that you guys are really comfortable. So in this time period of rest and turning into yourself, you want to have your body completely feel supported by whatever is underneath you, the ground, pillows. So if you need to grab a pillow to put underneath your knees or to put under your head or if you have tight shoulders, maybe throw some uh, towels or little pillows underneath your shoulders to really support the whole body on the floor. We're going to start with the breath here. So I want you guys to first notice how your breath is coming into your body. How is it entering? The quality of its entrance. Does it feel restricted or free flowing? And then where is it filling your body? Where does that breath take you? We're gonna use your inhales to explore some different areas of your body. So for these next few inhales, I want you to send your breath into your navel, your belly button, drawing the air all the way down your torso to the lower part of your abdominals. And sometimes some self-touch helps bring awareness to your body as well. So if you need to put your hands over the places that I'm sort of indicating to help you direct your breath there, that might be helpful. So I'm gonna take your breath over to your right hip flexor. Letting your right hip flexor ease with every inhale. And then bringing your breath over to your left hip flexor. Letting your left hip flexor release with every inhale. And then this one will be hard to touch for yourself, but you can press your right heel down into the floor and take a few breaths into your right heel. All the way down the right side of your body to the end of your body. And then switching your inhales to send them into the left heel. If you haven't already, let's bring your arms down by your side with the palms facing up towards the ceiling. And we're going to take, imagine that you have a blue ball in your right hand and an orange ball in your left hand. And we're going to take your inhale. And with every inhale, the blue ball in the right hand glows a little bit brighter.
One more inhale into that blue ball. And we'll switch over to the orange ball in the left hand, which glows brighter with every inhale. Go ahead and bring your breath back into your navel. And we're going to continue with this idea of quality of breath. As you go through your breath cycles, take notice of how long you feel like you can suspend the air in your lungs before you feel like you need to exhale. Don't try to suspend for longer, just notice that phase of your breath cycle. And then noticing the opposite end of that cycle, which is the vacation phase. How long can you leave your lungs empty before you need to take your next inhale? Again, not trying to create that length of time, but just noticing what it is. And then we'll go for a few um, breath cycles where I'm going to count out your tempo. It's called box breathing. There's four sides to that box. There's the inhale, the suspension, the exhale, and the vacation. So we're going to inhale for three counts. Inhale, three, two, one. Hold the suspension, three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Hold your vacation. Three, two, one. Again, inhale. Three, two, one. Suspension. Three, two, one. Long exhale. Three, two, one. Vacation. Three, two. Good. Inhale. Three, two. One, suspension, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, vacation, three, two, one more cycle, inhale, three, two, one, suspension, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, vacation, three, two, one, and inhale, exhale, normally here. Just revert back to your normal state. Okay. I'm gonna do another breath exercise where we're going to have a two count inhale and a four count exhale. If that feels easy for you, you can do a three count inhale, six count exhale, but I'm going to stick with the two. All right, so we're going to go inhale, inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, vacation, inhale, one, two, exhale, four, three, two, one, vacation, inhale, one, two, exhale, four, three, two, 
one vacation. I'm going to stretch the exhales a little bit longer. I'm going to wait for that breath cycle since I didn't do it. We're going to inhale one, two, exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. It's going to be nasal inhale, nasal inhale, breath, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, inhale. Exhale. Vacation. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. And breathe normally in and out. If you're still with me, let's place your hands underneath your head. You're going to create a basket and create a little bit of traction at the base of your neck. So you're sort of lifting through the base of your head. Mm -hmm. and you'll have just a little bit of pressure nodding your chin down and whether or not your eyes are open let your elbows go out wide and whether or not your eyes are open you're going to take your eyeballs to the left side of your eye socket try not to move your chin just bring your eyeballs to that left side mm -hmm. You can bring your eyeballs to the right side and you're going to go through four breath cycles nice and easy. Do that one more time each side. Eyeballs to the left, four breath cycles, nice and easy. Paying attention to the quality of your breath, how it enters, where it enters. The suspension, the vacation, the duration of exhale and inhale. Once you've done about four breaths, switch your eyes to the right side and four quality breaths on that one. Feel free to keep your arms where they're at or bring them down by your side, whichever is more comfortable for you. We're just going to do a little body scan, starting at the base of your neck and tracing down through your sacrum. So starting at the top of your head, notice the pressure that's in the mat and where the pressure in your, um, of your head is. So is it more at the crown of your head or, or more at the base of your neck? And hopefully it's a little bit in the center there. As you trace down that, notice the curve off of the mat that your neck makes, that natural uh, extension in the neck, lifting off of the mat. And then we get a little bit more pressure as we travel down the spine for your thoracic spine on the mat. We're traveling down the spine and you notice the curve of your lumbar spine, maybe lifting off the mat. And then it drops down again where your sacrum or your tailbone lays flat on the mat. And we're going to work our way up and down that river of curves. We come back up through the lumbar spine. There's a curve. The thoracic spine presses into the mat. The neck lifts off the mat, and then the head gets heavy. We'll come back down again. So we'll come up through the neck, lifting off the mat, heavy through your rib cage. 
lifted in the lumbar spine and heavy in the tail. We'll come back one more time. Lifting up through the lumbar spine, heavy in the thoracic, lifted in the neck, and heavy in the tail. Okay. Bring yourself down towards your hips. You can place your hands on your hip bones. And if you have a pillow underneath your knees, remove the pillow here for this last set. And start bringing your body back to life. Go ahead and bend your knees up so your feet are flat on the mat. We're going to let your right knee fall out to the side. Slide the right foot out long underneath you. Rotate it so that the toes are back towards the ceiling and then drag your heel back underneath you so your foot goes flat. Again, we'll let the right knee drape out to the side. Slide your foot out long on the mat. Rotate it so that your foot comes back vertical and then pull the heel back in. One more time, just like that. Let the right knee drape out, slide open, rotate the toes back towards the ceiling and then pull the heel in. Very nice, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let your left knee drape open. Slide the heel out long underneath you. Roll the foot so the toes are facing the ceiling and then drag the heel back in. Knee falls out to the side. Slide the heel out long. Roll the toes back to the ceiling and then drag the heel back in. One more time, let the knee fall. Press the foot out long. Bring yourself to center and drag on in. Nice work. Roll yourself to one side, doesn't matter which side you're on. Just come into a fetal position on one side of your body and just give yourself a little rock. We're going to finish here with another minute of just being. Three questions to finish with. One thing you're thankful for. One act of kindness you'll do today or have done. And one wish for someone that you love. Go ahead and bring yourself up to a seated position. You can cross your legs or butterfly sit, long sit. Go ahead and just rubbing your legs, bringing some life into your legs playing with your feet, rubbing your arms, Good. rubbing your collarbones and your chest yeah. and your neck, and messing up your hair. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms really high. And exhale. Nice job, you guys.
Thanks for joining me uh, live and then I guess on the recording. I'll hang out a little bit if you guys have questions or comments. I plan to be here 